Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. Uh, this is my Jeep TJ build. I started with a salvage vehicle from Copart that was totaled out by a major insurance company. And I thought, you know what, we can make this one run again. Let's keep it away from the parts people. So I bought it a year and a half ago. It is running. Uh, I've had it on the road twice now. Um, still waiting on some paperwork from the state so I can get it inspected and start using it as my runabout. Uh, today's video is going to be um, how to align the front wheels. So, you know, I've replaced a bunch of suspension parts. A lot of work's going on in this vehicle. Check out my uh, playlist, Jeep Build. You can see all the other videos. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the wheels off. Factory manual has a different way of doing this that would work great if you had expensive equipment. But you know what? I'm in my garage. I'm grateful to have air conditioning. That's better than what most people get to work on their car in. So we're going to do this using a method that I read about on the internet. And I'm going to just run the video on it because I think it'll help other people. So uh, lots of thanks to the people who wrote this up. Um, so, you know, if you search at, what well, say it's jeepwrangler.com or something, one of those websites, they've got a great uh, set of instructions on this, so I'm just going to execute it. Um, so I'm going to support the front axle uh, with jacks or jack stands, and uh, then I'm going to take tires off, and I'm going to make some aluminum um, rods that are 35 inches long. They could be square, they could be angled. They can be damn near anything you want as long as you can clamp it to the rotors. So uh, without further ado, let me drag my jacks up here and get busy jacking this thing up. Uh, my emergency brake is set. So that'll, that'll do the most of it. And then um, I have two jacks, so I'm just going to use two jacks. One set there. Um, So I've just started to pick them up. The next thing that I need to do is loosen the lug nuts. And so uh, these are not that, I think, these are 13 sixteenths. No, they're three quarter. Okay, so I've got those, good. Uh, this is just how I like to loosen my lug nuts. make an extra noise. Alright, I'm feeling lazy. So I'm gonna get after this with the
And then as I almost always do, I'm going to put my tires underneath the vehicle. In the unlikely event that it was to fall off the jacks, this would give me a little bit of a cushion so it doesn't have to be picked up off the ground. All right, be right back. I need to go make some aluminum uh, helpers. Okay, so I've got a pair of 36 inch pieces of aluminum angle. I'm gonna set them side by side so I can mark them identically. I've got two edges that are reasonably straight. That's gonna be my, my go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a tape measure and I'm gonna mark 33 inches because that's what size tires I'm running. Okay. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna mark 15 and a half. No, 16 and a half. That's my center. All right, let me find some clamps and I'll set these up. All right, so the basic idea on this isn't that complicated. We wanna get this roughly centered on the axle. Okay, so All right, so that's center. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so the way this works is we're uh, actually going to adjust this one. This one needs to be at the very back. So we're reading 58 and 3 8 versus 58 and a quarter. So we're an eighth of an inch. Um, they're spot on. I mean, that's, that's pretty much where you want them to be is one eighth of an inch. All right. So uh, I've centered it visually with the center of the axle. And then I'm doing the same thing here. It doesn't matter that the wheel is turned a little bit. We can unturn it. Um, we're measuring the relationship between the ends of the tire. So we're going from the end of this 33 inches up from this side. And we're doing our measurements on the passenger side. Fifty-eight and th three eighths. Uh, fifty-eight and a quarter, and fifty-eight. So, you know, according to this. 58 and a quarter versus 58. So it could be an eighth of an inch this way. So I'll go ahead and make that adjustment because it really, a quarter of an inch is too much and that would explain why it's a little flighty when I'm driving it. So let's go ahead and make that adjustment. So we're going to, we're going to adjust this. So we need to unlock this and unlock that. And I'll go ahead and do that.
Okay, so I'm making sure to not go under the vehicle because it is up on jacks. like you're going to need two wrenches to do this. So that should be enough to get this to turn. All right, so we're gonna do the other side. Now, there's not really a good way to get to this that doesn't involve being under the Jeep. That's gonna take a socket. So at this point, it should be as simple as rotating this tube. And maybe, maybe not. So we're gonna start with pliers. So let's see where our measurements are at this point. I'm going to center the wheel. So that's too much. So let's back it out the other way. So we're at 57 and 7 eighths versus 58 and an eighth. So a little bit more, we're, we're really close, but I'm still, I wanna try and get it perfect. So 
So I'm adjusting it here and then I'm remeasuring it here. So I'm going to go to the back, let the tension off and recheck it. It is 58 and 8 versus 58. That's exactly where we want it to be. So now what we're going to do is lock everything down. We're one eighth of an inch difference. It's an eighth of an inch narrower at the front. I'll pick up my levels. Uh, you know, these don't really matter, but it's just for peace of mind. And now we're going to tighten everything. what the setting is so I'm just gonna snug it down and go from there and all right so this moves around this clamp that's fine Go do. All right, so let me go check the torque settings and I'll be right back. Okay, it is twenty foot pounds is the spec. All right, let's go do the other side. Okay, so now let's our settings. So we will clear the tension on the front, or the rear, 58 and an eighth. And we are um, 57 and halfway between 57, 7 eighths and, and 58. So we're in that 16th to eighth of an inch. That's exactly where we want to be. Um, so let's go ahead and put all this away and put the wheels back on. your back in two easy steps. There we go. 
glad I don't do this for a living. Okay, so that one's on there roughly. Let's do the other one. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it on the ground. We need to fork the uh, lug nuts, 100 foot pounds, and we need an extension for this. I think it only requires one. Alright, let me do the other side. You guys have seen one, you don't need to see the other, I'll be right back. Alright, so now we've got an issue with the steering wheel. The wheels are straight, the steering wheel's not. So, let me show you how to adjust this. This is something you need to do anytime you adjust the, the uh, suspension and steering. So we'll put these back. Uh, who makes these? Something or other motorsports. Mr. Scribble really like those rims they will be going away soon so the object of our attention now is this so let me get some wrenches and get that loose so these are 15 millimeter and they're on here pretty good so let me get the camera situated and then I'll get these loose all right
<clears throat> Alright, let me get a glove and then we're going to twist this. So, I'm going to run it back in. I can see where it used to be. So, I'm going to run it in and see what that looks like from up top. it by a little bit so we need to come back out another half turn or so another half turn there's no right or wrong on this it's just do it until it's cracked That looks pretty good. So I'm going to tighten it up and then I'll show you what we did. Let me find a torque setting for this and get it torqued in and I'll be right back. Okay, it is also 20 foot pounds. show you we went from being crooked to being damn near straight so now let's take it for a test drive and see how the alignment functions well folks i forgot to hit play or record when i took it out for a test drive good news it runs fine um brakes need to be bled but beyond that nothing else really going on so that's not today's project um probably gonna want to get a helper for that so anyway thanks for watching